Today, we're going to make something super fun. Um, what we're going to make today with crayons. Now, some of you have nice looking crayons and some of you have some sad looking crayons and that's okay. Um, broken crayons, still color. So I want you to go take a look. Maybe it's in a couch or under your bed. Um, in your box of toys, I know some of you can find broken crayons. Now you're going to need uh, your grown-up or your family member to help you with this project. But um, if you have access to the materials, then keep watching. So you're going to need a glass or a bowl that can take hot water. Make sure to run the water a little bit till you get it nice and hot. It doesn't have to be boiling. Fill in your bowl. That looks good, just to cover them. And you're gonna let your crayons that still have the wrapper take a little bath in there. And you're gonna notice something really fun. The warm water is going to peel off, of um, peel the paper off, and it's so much easier than trying to scratch your crayons. And then eventually, you're going to get a very clean crayon, unwrapped. Then we're going to take these and save them off into a jar. might find something in your recycling bin, but you can store these. And then we will turn these into rainbow crayons. Um, you're going to need a tray that can go into the oven or something that can handle a lot of heat. Now, if you don't have one that's ruined, that you don't mind getting dirty, that's one thing. But if you have one and your family says, hey, we still use that for food, you might want to put in like a cupcake wrapper, a wax paper, or something to protect your muffin tin. You can find a lot of these items at the Dollar Tree or the Dollar Store. Um, I know that if I go and get muffins from a bakery, they often have disposable tins that um, you can clean out and recycle and use those. And then you can pop those in the oven. Um, I'm going to set that to the side. Even Savers, which is a thrift store, and I pick up what's called a silicone mat uh, or a silicone tray. So these are safe to go into the oven. You can tell that this one has had a lot of loven. Um, and they're small little sections, they're deep. And I break up the crayons and I put those inside. Um, I've made hearts, I've made, excuse me, I've made bear ones. These ones are super cute. They turn out to be like little gummy bears. And these are actually for ice cubes. Um, I found this at Savers. I believe it originally came from Ikea. And I have them in a couple different colors. And I have this one that I found. And I'm going to try to make some of these X's or plus. Okay, now that you've peeled all of your crayons, you can either save these wrappers and let them dry. It will turn right back into the paper wrapper that it was and you can collage or cut it up turn it into something new but now you have your jar of peeled crayons beautiful if there's a little bit of paper on it that's okay it might burn off in the mix when you're not the next job is we have some bigger crayons here but we need to be able to make them a little bit smaller and so that they can fit into the um, trays. So you can take these, put them in a baggie, um, smash them up with like a little hammer or um, the simple way is to just take them and give them a little snap and then they'll be small enough to get into the trays. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to break these up into smaller pieces and then we'll place them into the tray. Oh, no. 
Oh, that's a hard one. You don't want to overmix too many colors when you melt because then you end up getting brown. And not to say that brown is a bad color, but uh, that's what happens when we do mix too many colors together. It will start to turn into one big cluster of brown. So um, I'm just going to clean up and all of these goodies are going to go into the tray. All right, I have not used this long cylindrical tray. I'm going to try today. So maybe I can do some that are warm colors. You want to stack these together and create um, enough so that it will melt together. So if you've ever seen like a candle and they all kind of like melt down together, I'm gonna try not to get my hand in the way too much. Um, I would try to look for some of these cool ones. My kids have like glitter ones. That should be really fun. You don't want to fill it too much to the top because it might overflow and then it might leak into uh, another color uh, section. So just enough so that it's filled up right there. And then I'm gonna all finished. All right, I filled my tray. I have one that's like warm colors. I did a orangey yellow mix. I did a red, white, and blue mix. I did an all green one. I mixed red, white, yellow, and some reds in this one. This one has reds and purples. And then I'm gonna see what happens when I melt red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet. Um, I even found one that looks kind of like indigo. That's our tricky one. I'm going to sneak that one right in there. So for our friends that we are learning right now, that last row is called Roy G. Biv. Say Roy G. Biv. Awesome. So now it's time for the experimental part. I'm going to put this in the oven and hopefully see what happens. Now, if I make a mistake, that's okay. This is the fun part. We're gonna see what happens. It's a big experiment. So, the next part, we're gonna put it in the oven. Now you're gonna to wanna to transfer this onto a cookie sheet, a sheet that maybe you don't care to have any crayon on. I know I have some really beat up trays, and then I'm gonna place that on just in case things start to bubble on over. You're gonna set your oven to 200 degrees, and we're going to wait for that to warm up, and I'll come back. So the oven is now at 200 degrees. So carefully open your oven, have a grown up do this part, slide it into the top rack. Good job, right there. And set your timer. We can always do it for longer, but we should start off slow and low. And you can do it anywhere from like 10 to like 15 minutes. And now we have to wait. Don't forget to turn on that light and we can watch all that mess. Don't open the oven too much because you want it to stay warm. Okay, we'll be back. All right, so the crayons are dry and cold. Now we can take them out of their pods or sections. We have to peel. Kind of heard that release and I'm gonna rotate ready for the reveal this was the rainbow crayon what do you think guys all right there's one let's try and see what the other ones look like This will strictly only be for um, crayons uh, and wax based art. Okay, so I'm gonna set this to the side and I'm gonna bring my notebook over and we're gonna test out some of these crayons. Mommy, look, it's 
Um, this is the fun part. Now, every time you use it, it's going to be like a different color. So I'm going to hold this one. What should we do, Emily? How about we Sunset. write... Ooh, look at this crayon. I'm writing hello. There we go. And cursive. If you guys want to learn cursive, we can practice that too. Yeah. I'm going to rotate to the other side. Whoa, look at that. Look Still at that. works. Um, what else? Emily's changing into Ooh, white America flag. America flag. Oh, white America blue. flag. But this isn't white the America blue, crayon. I mean, maybe, maybe we can draw some flowers. This has some light purple on the ends to draw with. Look at that. Some of you um, in kindergarten practiced with Mrs. Wicks about uh, getting There's some no texture underneath. So you could find something that has texture and place it under your piece of paper and give it a rub and find some texture. That would be a great scavenger hunt activity. So this one actually has a little bit of black in there. Look how fun that looks. Like Great. Green crayon. Let's try over here. Let's do some zigzag lines. Let's try some green. Okay. Let's try this side that has a couple colors. I'm going to do... Whoa. That is serious. Bumpy line. Just like that snake that Emily was talking about. Gonna try. Okay. Um, here's my rainbow one. even has a little bit of glitter. Okay. And now that you don't have a wrapper on it, yeah, your hands are gonna get messy, but you know what? That's what artists do. We get a little bit messy and that's okay. Just remember to wash your hands and uh, it'll be okay. All right, so here's my okay, rainbow okay. crayon. You got it, thanks Owen. You know what? Who thinks I can draw a rainbow in one swipe? I'm gonna try. All right, here we go. I'm gonna start from the top and I'm gonna bring my, I'm gonna get rub my crayon here. I'm gonna try to bring it down. Oh, so close. I might be able to do it again and again. Let's see. Oh gonna... no, green. That's okay. We can keep going and going till we get something. I'm gonna green. keep rubbing it. Yes. Green is happening. I see it, it's happening. You know what? This is the fun part of experimenting. You never know what you're gonna get. Look at our team. Okay. Oh, so have fun making your own rainbow crayons. Um, if you end up making your crayons, you know what? If it breaks, what can you do? Stick it back in here and make some new crayons. That's okay. So enjoy making your rainbow crayons and stay tuned for more um, art activities. And if you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you want more notifications for videos, make sure you, you click on the bell for um, notifications. Subscribe. That's your best way to get more updated content from me. Um, and yeah, so have fun with your rainbow crayons. Love you guys. Bye. Bye.